Hi, this is Len Edgerly for the Kindle Chronicles, and today is March 20th, 2014. It's Thursday, so I'm at work on the this week's episode of the Kindle Chronicles, which will be episode 294 with Kevin Egan. And I thought I would just do a screen capture of some of the work that goes into putting the podcast together. Uh, this is inspired by uh, Austin Cleon's Share Your Work to uh, just show my work process, uh, how I'm learning to do it, and uh, Austin's uh, thesis that he talked about at South by Southwest was that this is a way to uh, share your work and to uh, it, it might be of interest to people who are following your, your output, which in my case is the weekly podcast. So what you're looking at here on the left is uh, the screen of Logic Pro. I used to use GarageBand, but I upgraded to Logic uh, a couple of years ago, I think. And it's got a little more tools and a little more useful. And then on the right side is Evernote, where I've got the script uh, for this week's show working. I've already done some trimming of the interview. Uh, very often when I start talking with someone, once we connect with Skype or by phone, I'm getting introductory information, which I might uh, present as audio from my guest, or I might uh, condense it and put it into the the script, which is what you see here. I've, uh, I'll be doing kind of a voiceover intro saying Kevin Egan was my guest in June and then picking up some of the information that he was talking about here in the first part of the, our conversation. And where I want to get to is a point here where he says, uh, well, I still have that original Kindle Fire. Uh, we were talking about how he was reading uh, two years ago when I talked to him and uh, so what you're seeing is this bottom track is Kevin's voice and the upper track is my voice when I record with Skype call recorder I can then split the two tracks and then I can edit them differently which is very handy because sometimes uh, either my voice is too loud or the guest voice is too loud and I can adjust them separately the beautiful day today for example here in the middle of March to have uh, you know the Sun out and so he's talking about the weather in Florida, and uh, you know we're sort of uh, catching up with each other. And but I think this is information which isn't going to be that interesting for listeners. So I'm going to delete uh, there. And when I have shuffle L there, if I hit delete, everything jumps to the left. And so now well, I still have that original. Okay, there's a little bit of a an edge to that. If I I can spread out the waveform to see I want it to still have that let's see well, I still have there's a little bit of extra where he's saying I still have well, I still ha I'm gonna try putting it right there well, I still have well, I still ha I still have well, I still have there that's pretty clean so you can see if you spread it apart you're you're you can make pretty fine cuts I still have that's nice and clean. All right, so I'm going to go, where was that there? I still have. Yeah. All right, so now I'm going to cut, I'm going to select both tracks, and I have to make sure that I cut, uh, I cut my track and his so that they stay in sync with each other. And so now when we start, I still have that. There, that's a lot cleaner. Um, so, in my intro here, I uh, say I spoke with Kevin by Skype on Tuesday and I began by asking for an update of his reading technology from nearly, nearly two years ago when he was using a, uh, a first generation Kindle Fire and an e-ink Kindle Touch. Um, so th the other thing that you can do with uh, Logic, and uh, I don't always do it, but in my uh, speech and also the speech of most normal people, there are some ums and ahs to deal with. And you can kind of clean up how someone sounds. We'll just see. We'll get, run. I still have that original Kindle Fire. Uh, the first. Okay, now there's an ah, uh, and you can see it's a nice shape. It's uh, I've seen these described as sunfish or something. And if you spread it out, you can see that that's fire, uh, the first generation. All right, so if I select both tracks and then I do a cut here and then on the other side of the ah uh, and then I select the ah uh, and the space where I'm listening and delete it 
Now it's just going to be a little more smooth. That original Kindle Fire, first generation. I still use it on occasion, but I don't use it as much to read long form. Um, I have the... Okay, there's another one. And I'll just grab that and delete. Much to read long form. I have the latest generation Kindle Paperwhite, which I love. That's what I use for most of my reading. Uh, my wife also uses a Kindle Paperwhite. So we, uh, we both uh, share and exchange. Now, you know, sometimes uh, it, it, it's, it's kind of a judgment call. Uh, for one thing, it takes a lot of time to take out all of the uhs in an interview. Uh, and I also think sometimes, you know, it, it's a normal way of talking. So uh, I, right. So we, uh, we both share and exchange books that way. I also own a, uh, a Nexus 5. And so as we go along, I'll, I'll be, uh, there's the entire interview. You see it's a little less than 20 minutes, which is about right. Um, the other thing, I'll, <laughs> for those of you who listen to the show, you'll recognize this. I've muted this bottom track, which is the Ra Monk music, and I'll mute the audio. So uh, when it starts out, there's that familiar music. And if we drop an A there, you can see that with uh, I'm usually saying uh, welcome to the Kindle Chronicles here where the volume on the music is sort of low and then I have a little pause when the I can raise the music so there's a little sort of an interlude and then it drops down when I say uh, welcome from Denver or wherever and and then it kind of fades out and then as I have uh, bumpers these are the bumpers where uh, these little uh, separators between the different uh, parts of the podcast uh, let's see is that running they uh, they, they break it up and uh, just drop those in as ways to uh, provide some breaks between all of the talking I'll make that a little wider so you can see it that's just a little piece of that Ramonk music which I use for the bumpers and then then there's some more music at the end and then it tails off and I always have it end at uh, here at uh, 4458 is uh, where it goes. So what I'll be doing uh, Thursday, I generally like to get the interview all ready to go. So I'll be working on that tonight, Thursday, and try to get as much of the script done as I can so that tomorrow, Friday, uh, I always want to get finished before midnight. Uh, and that'll be the what I'll hope to do. So on the script side, I uh, just welcome to the Kindle Chronicles, and I've got, uh, I'll drop in the news, the tech tips, the interview intro, content, and if there's some time for comments, and then the outro, we'll talk about uh, uh, what's coming next week. Now, what I do for the show notes is as I'm putting the, the show together, this part of my Evernote file is just going to be copy and pasted uh, right into the show notes. Uh, and uh, that way I've got all the links built in and and so when I've got the audio finished uh, it's pretty easy to get the show notes in I don't have to do all of that typing in addition to what I've done to prepare the show uh, I hope you'll enjoy the show this week it was a good interview with Kevin Egan and uh, I am looking forward to uh, getting it all spiffed up and ready for you to listen to hopefully sometime tomorrow which will be March 21st this is Len Edgerly in downtown Denver for the Kindle Chronicles, uh, taking you behind the scenes in uh, doing the editing of the show. <laughs>